So y'all, this is my response to the Fergie thing. This is a word. This is a world premiere. This is a word. This one, I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit brief, but it's a little bit of a rant too. So I'm gonna give you, this is my response to the Fergie thing. And if you don't know what the Fergie thing is, then great. If you do know what the Fergie thing is, here's my response to the Fergie thing. You feel me? So here's the thing. I was at the gym and you guys know that I've been going to the gym. I've been going to the gym a lot, y'all. I've been doing like two hours a day at the gym, mostly cardio. Um, Cause I've just, I've like, I've thickened up in a way that I'm not really comfortable with. So I've been doing a lot of card um, cardio, just trying to kind of slim down and be able to manage things. Generally when I work out at the gym, I try to avoid screens. I try to avoid screens at all. And of course, anyone who goes to one of these big commercial gyms knows that they're all about screens. They want to make sure that you are inundated, <laughs> oversaturated with technology, with media, with input, right? With stimulation, overstimulation. And so I try to avoid those things. And what I normally do is I try to work out close to a wall. So like I'm looking at the wall and not looking at one of these screens. Okay, so I was at the gym yesterday in the evening and every single screen had Fergie's face on it from the Black Eyed Peas. And all I can tell you is the story had something to do with her performance of the national anthem, I think. I think it was a performance of the national anthem. And then they, would, they were showing tons and tons of people who had stuff to think about. And I'm just thinking to myself, is this the world we live in where this is the news cycle, Fergie's performance of the national anthem, or whatever ridiculous piece of thing, right? And I, and, I would, and I would venture to ask if they had walked up to any person on the street and said, hey, what do you think of what's happening in Afghanistan right now? What do you think of what's happening in Mosul right now? Sanctioning Russia right now. And I think this is one of the things that is you know, an issue with at least, I want to say, U.S. society, American society, maybe Western society in general. And I would love to know what all of you think about it. And as I'm thinking about this, I think about how there is so much rhetoric that kind of paints Americans as, you know, you know, in this positive light. But I'm like, what? What is the national character that uh, we have as U.S. citizens that we have to really embrace and be proud of, right? And I am sure that there are a litany of things that people could talk about, but the reality is if your country's at war and you haven't even bothered to find out about the progress of that war, what does it say about you as a citizen of that country? that you're not engaged in the violence that is being deployed throughout the world by your country, especially if it's rationalized, right? Especially if you've rationalized that you want to make sure that that violence is being dispensed in a very measured fashion, right? If you're not concer concerned with the way violence is being dispensed on your behalf throughout the world, even if you consider it to be justified, then that's a problem. And that's the national character. Right? And that has a lot to say about the national character. How can you be supporting the troops if you're not monitoring the progress of the various, various activities that our troops are engaged in throughout the world? How can you be supporting them if you're not concerned with their well-being? And being concerned with their well-being means checking in to see how they're doing. How many casualties were there today? How many casualties were they responsible for today? Because that has, that's damage on both sides, right? That's gonna to lead to someone's trauma on both sides. If you're disappointed that I didn't talk about Fergie, think about that. Think about that and go ahead and dislike this video. Dislike it a lot and then go and tell all your friends to come and watch it and dislike it so that we can really get a sense of how bad the problem is. That's my rant for today. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto. Big guns and